Hello and welcome. Today we're working on a grade book in Excel using points method. Now our previous video, and I'll link to it below, was on the percentage method. So if your exams are worth 60% and homework is worth 20% or whatever. But this is the way you do it if you want the points method. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial skills and Excel. So let's get into this uh, little project here. Let's say we have students' names. Now, one thing that happens is sometimes you have a cell you can't quite read, and so you want to kind of go between the B and the C and extend it where you can read the longest name is Robert Johnson. You could double click and, and do that, but sometimes it would make it too wide. So here we have three exams. Each one are worth 200 points. We have homework, which is worth 250 points, and the project is worth 150 points. Now, here's how we get started on this, and we're going to actually assign grades based on a 10-point scale, 90s with an A, 80s with a B, and so on. Well, on this one, one thing we need to do is we need to insert a column. So we can go to H here, right click and insert, and it inserts a column. And we need a column, uh, a cell, and a column that says total points. And we need to make it just a little wider, so we'll double click up here so we have total points. Now, we're going to add up the maximum number of points is 200, 200, 200 plus 250 plus 150. So that total is going to be 1,000. Now you can do a keyboard shortcut like I did on Mac. It is Command Shift T. On Windows, it is Alt Equals. Or this is the sum function, and so you can highlight all these and go up to the top, the auto sum, and hit that button, and that's 1,000. Or kind of the old-fashioned way of doing it is start typing equals and a sum. Start your parentheses, and this is the sum of those cells. All right, so we have a thousand points. Now, I made it easy where you can kind of see the percentages, but this would work if you have 600 total points or, or 1,200 total points or whatever. So we need to add up the total points for each student. So we're going to add up all the points for Mary Dalton. We'll hit equals at the very um, beginning here. We'll do equals sum. Start the parentheses and highlight all her grades. And so her total is 862 points. You know it's going to be out of 1,000. Now we can do a couple of different ways here. We can do the, the summation button. So let's do this. Let's highlight all this and hit the auto sum. And this gives us the formula, the sum formula for every row for every student. So that is faster. There's ways to do it faster than doing it um, a sum here and copy all the way down. But if you wanted to, let me undo here, you could say equals sum, start my parentheses, add all these, whoops, add all these, close parentheses, and then all you have to do is copy it down. You can copy doing Command C or Control C and then Command V or Control V to paste. Or you can grab the fill handle to the bottom right hand corner. You see that's the fill handle and drag it. That will copy and paste. Or if you have this left column already uh, filled in, you can just go to the right fill handle. It changes to that solid plus sign. Double click on the uh, left button on the mouse and it sends it all the way down. So several different ways doing this. Now you can do it the keyboard shortcut way. Sum is one of those things where we do all the time. So the keyboard shortcut way, Command Shift T if you're on Mac, Alt, um, uh, Alt equals if you're on Windows, and there you have the total points. So now it's easy to figure out an average. We're going to take the 862 divided by the 1000, and we want the 1000 <clears throat> to be an absolute value. So we're going to put dollar signs, dollar sign H, dollar sign 6. And you can do that by doing um, F4, Alt F4 sometimes. And that may, means we can then copy it down. So let's convert this to a percentage. So um, that's 86.2%. Uh, now, if we want to convert it, make sure we have a number, we might want whole numbers here. We're going to take this formula 
times 100, and we got the total point, so convert it back to a number. So it's 86.2 is the average. I think on an average you want two decimal places, so let's copy this down, and let's test our work. On the very bottom, we have uh, John Jones has 725 points. Divided by 1,000, that would equal uh, 72.5 would be his average. So now we want to assign the grades. We're going to have a straight 10-point scale, and we're going to use a function called VLOOKUP. Now let me show you first. Let's do the formula. I'm going to use the formula text. I'm going to show you the formula for the average just so you can kind of look at it. You don't have to kind of rewatch or, or squint and try to find what it is in the formula bar. I'm taking the 862 divided by the 1000 and making it absolute, always divided by 1000, times 100 and converting that from a percentage, a decimal, to 86.2%. Now we're going to do the same uh, function here for grade, look at that same number, the 86.2, and figure out is that A, B, C, or so on. So here's how we do it just manually. We would look at the 86 and we know that that's going to be a B. So we would look at this little lookup table and we figure out that's a B, that's a C, so on, that's a C, and so we, we go in that direction. So let's do it with VLOOKUP, and I'm going to use formula text because I want to build the formula. Formula text for that first cell. It's not have anything in there right now, so we're going to show how this works. So we're going to do VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to go to the very top and look for my FX. So I'm going to look for functions. I used it most recently, but you can type in VLOOKUP and it will search for the vertical lookup, and that's what this function does, it looks up things in a vertical column. So our lookup value is 86.2. Our table array is going to be the entire little shaded area here. We want to make it absolute, so I'm going to do F4, which is dollar sign K, dollar sign 2, dollar sign L, and dollar sign 6. We're going to make it where this is absolute, so as we copy it down, it won't move down below this uh, array. Now the column index, we're looking in column 1 and returning the information in column 2. So we're going to do 2 here and the range lookup. Now let me go up here and try to explain what's going on. So I'm editing up here. Do we want an approximate match or do we want a, an exact match? We want the exact match um, if we had a 90 and 80 only, but we have like 77.2. So we want an approximate match, so that's true. We'll hit enter. And it's going to assign the grade, which is a B for Mary Dalton. And we copy it down, and let's test the very last one. Should be a C. So this 72% is C. Let's do John Jones, and let's say that um, he did not turn any homework. He turned in uh, five points of homework. Well, his total points is 495, or 49.5. So he has received an F. So that's how you do uh, that. So let's, let me undo here. Command Z or Control Z will undo. And so here we have assigned letter grades based on the class average or the average for each student in the class. Now, one of the things you might want to do, a couple little things extra, we might want to figure out what's the average for each exam or each project or whatever, each column, and what is the high grade and what's the low grade. So I'm just going to type it equals and start with average. I want the average of that column. So you say, hey, you know, what's exam one average? The exam one average is 153.1. I went ahead and formatted it for two decimal places. I like to do that when we're doing an average. So you have a little bit more information rather than, it's not really 153, it's 153.1 maybe. Now, the high is a function called max. And so we're going to look at the same kind of thing, the max function. The high grade is 192. Now, we probably don't need the, um, the decimals here, so we can get rid of that if we want to. The low is going to be called a min or minimum. So the minimum or the min, what's the low grade on this? Well, the low grade is 119. So percentage-wise, that would be 
you know, 120 to about about 200, that'd be about 60%, 59.5%, maybe something like that. So now we've got the average and the high and the low. We can just copy it across by dragging using that fill handle. And here for the class average, it's 81%. The, the person with the highest grade is 91. Here we probably want this to be two decimal places. So 90.5 is the high grade here and the low grade is 68.5 and that uh, would be here, the D. So we have one A, we have one D, and we have several Bs and two Cs. All right, so that's how you do the average and the high and the low. Let's do one more thing. We might want to sort these by last name. We might want to sort them by an exam or homework grade or whatever. So let's do this. So let's go to the data ribbon and we'll go filter and you see now for each of the headings in each column we have a little drop down so if we want to sort by last name then we sort A to Z is ascending or Z to A is descending so we're going to do it by last name um, the, the um, alphabetized um, in reverse order then this is how you do it if you want to do ascending then the B and then D and then J and so on so we can do it that way you also can do it by final average. You could say, hey, let's sort by final average. Let's sort with the largest one going down. So that's descending. And so we see Mary Smith has the highest grade and then Lynn Young and then Mary Dalton and so on. Sean Lewis has the 68.5%. So that's how you do a grade book in Excel using the points method. And the points then you can assign whatever points. I made it easy to make it a thousand. You kind of see how this works. But you could have points 100 for each test. Homework is 50 points and the project is worth 100 points. And that would add up to be, you know, 550 points or whatever it might be. So this is how you do it in Excel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.